In this video, three groups of 8 to 10 players try to speedrun Minecraft. The middle schoolers, the high schoolers, and the adults. Each group has two hours to kill the Ender Dragon, but if they fail, they automatically lose. Whichever group wins will be declared as certified epic gamers. The middle schoolers quickly scattered in all directions, desperately searching for anything that might be useful among the frozen ice spikes. Little do they know that there is a village really close by, though. Mr. Mikey, I need you to defend me. Uh, uh. What we should do for killing the dragon is dead. Oh, supposed to be defending? Oh, you just died. Okay, that's probably why. That'd be exactly the reason why, but it didn't stop him from making another portal successfully and happily journeying to the nether. Everyone still in the overworld was also busily working on making their own nether portals because no one actually seemed to have found the first one that was made. But it didn't take very long for nether portals to start springing up everywhere in various points in the nether. One player even got lucky and spawned right next to the bottom of a nether fortress. I don't we need a ritual to fight on. a dragon. We gotta use all Wait, the time we can get. Speedrun has a ritual. Well, rituals no. are cool, you know? Like, Not really. like, like sacrifices to blood gods. Uh, oh god, he's turning into Technoblade. Stay here, I'm gonna go get some more wood. Uh, I'm going to negative 350 50. In between fighting Hoglins, a few of the other players who weren't at the fortress were busy trading as much gold as they could with piglins in the hopes of getting Ender Pearl. Unfortunately for this player, they were rather unlucky, unlike this player who was extremely lucky and didn't die from that fall. No, I just got hit by a blaze. My moderators got a little bit bored and started trying to speedrun all advancements in the background, which you might notice throughout this recording okay, and the next me. one, and not to be outdone, I gave myself some netherite armor. That's a bit I think that Black they're, just, they're just giving themselves okay. plenty of achievements, aren't they? I'm still not quite sure what this player was doing, but they were definitely on a mission to dig straight down through stone with their bare hands. Ender pearls like aren't that valuable. Three ender pearls. I'm dead. <gasps> well, I'll just use that coal for the food, if you don't mind. I killed one yeah, hoglin. I'll use that for the food. We can actually like At one point a bunch of zombie pigmen just randomly showed up out of the nether portal and turned into a giant army just following around the players at their base. Uh, I can't help you with that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I can't help you with that. Wait, I got you. God, this is weird. I got- yeah, let's just oh, hit them! There, I got right the ball! Church uh, meeting is in I'm three minutes, that. guys! Why do we gotta meet at stupid church? No one cares to do a church meeting. Yeah, nobody's doing that. Because we're having a lot Could you wind down- could you mind down to make the sussy hole a bit deeper so people can die when they jump? We got Why donations will go to a good cause? Complete rando? You can, give it, no. you can give me the Eye of Enders stuff and I'll be uh, fine. I, I should have pulled a diamond down the sussy hole. hole. What? No, how do you have a diamond? He jump down the sussy hole. Oh my god, stop calling it the sussy hole. <laughs> it's safe to say that the productivity level of the players varied quite greatly from person to person. But one player journeyed all the way to the edge of the map and located the Woodland Mansion, which for some reason is only about 2,000 blocks from spawn. Boz, did you set the mansion on fire? Meanwhile, the first player who ever went to the nether was still there working on gathering ender pearls and blaze rods. After a bunch of piglin trading, they eventually got a lot of ender pearls and were able to begin setting out on a journey for the stronghold all on their own. When they decided to exit the nether, they made a new portal, which happened to be only about a thousand blocks from the stronghold, which was much closer than any of the other players. And it didn't take very long for them to locate the correct spot to dig down and enter the stronghold. What did take a really long time though was actually locating the end portal room, as is often the case. And while they were searching for it, several other players were also on their way to the stronghold, but decided to take a brief stop in a village they found. Never gonna get anywhere. If we, unless, unless someone actually, oh, oh, someone, someone went in the end. Someone opened the portal. Calicon was intent on soloing the Ender Dragon and refused to share the end portal coordinates with any of the other players as a result. Up here, Calico died. No, Calicon!
and solo it, they did. There's not really much we can do now. The middle schoolers beat the game with a time of 1 hour, 37 minutes, and 48 seconds. Whereas none of the middle schoolers had managed to locate the village close to spawn, the high schoolers immediately found it and proceeded to loot it of everything, while another high schooler unfortunately fell to their death in a cave after only a couple minutes. And someone already died. I can't be the only one that dies inside watching lava pools get turned into obsidian with water, right? Surely that's not just me. Fortunately, there was still a little bit of lava left, just enough to make a complete portal. In various other villages located around the map, players were busily making themselves super unpopular by killing all of the iron golems for iron. She's going for all achievements. He doesn't have a the players had set up a pretty good system for new arrivals at the nether portal. When they got there, they could go and immediately set their spawn on top of a tree for when they died in the nether. Which happened much sooner than you might think as another fortress was quickly located. <gasps> I fell. I fell. Oh, jeez. You might think at first that having a double blaze spawner would be beneficial, but it turned out to be a huge detriment as so many blazes were spawned that people could not even kill them fast enough. The unfortunate thing is that a ton of stuff, including a lot of blaze rods, were just sitting there on the ground right next to the players, but there were so many blazes that they couldn't even get to it to pick it up. On a happier note, some people in the overworld had found diamonds while mining. A few of them even started making big strip mines, because for each diamond collected, three seconds are removed from the final speedrun timer if they beat the game. The middle schoolers beat the game, but didn't have any diamonds at the end of it. Why are you not going to? <gasps> could, could I save the place? What? I chose for a minute and got to a throw With that death went most of the player's blaze rods, and some of them even resorted to punching endermen to death with poppies. I think Sith is just trying to get all the deaths in this game at this point. All death message speedrun? One player took the small number of eyes of enders they possessed and began searching for the stronghold but it proved to be too late and the player never actually got to the stronghold. The rest of them, lacking blaze powder, couldn't do much of anything either, which was unfortunate. Hey, who, who picked up my arrow? There's no one in this grave, someone needs to get in it. Hey. Hey. Hello. 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 Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Gary, no! The high schoolers did not beat the game. How many get the attacks have gone X? Nice, we got oh, one. Oh, oh, we did? Okay. Nice. Yes, that is very nice. The adults managed to locate the village the high schoolers had found in addition to the main lava pool that the middle schoolers found. In other words, the best combination. And on top of that, a couple of them even found abandoned mine shafts right away. I'll repost the coordinates just because there's oh, so much. Oh, shit. Very quickly, the adults began executing what seemed to be a pre-set up plan. I say we all meet up at the lava pool with all of our stuff to take stock of what yeah. we have. They slowly began trickling into the lava pool and started setting up a camp with few interruptions except for one death to a baby zombie. However, one player is on their own making a separate nether portal at a different lava pool. And the final person to arrive at the main lava pool came on a horse. Okay, well, I have one. Oh. 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 We still got lava. Okay, we still got lava. Okay, we still got lava. Right. Oh. Okay. Minecraft. Yeah, with other people. Oh. Random people for a YouTube video. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you yet. Not until it comes out. It's so okay. true. It's it's so set up. Don't... One more level. Set the fish! Set the fish! Set the fish! Try it, I'm trying. Oh. Several players from the camp made it to the nether pretty quickly, but they were beaten to the actual nether fortress by the guy who was on their own with their own lava pool somewhere else. And one person was just having a private war with tons of mobs down in a cave. They quickly set about the usual nether activities, trading with piglins, killing blazes, collecting blaze rods, dying to blazes, as uh, you might expect from a double blaze spawner.
But amid all the death, they were slowly building up a supply of Ender Pearls and Blaze Rods, especially with the help of a few lucky Balin bartering trades, where they got a bunch of Ender Pearls really fast. We have beds for the other to bed on. Yeah, we've got five beds on the Ooh, chest. got three Ender Pearls from the Piglin. Nice. How many does that put us up to? Four? I think so, yes. Uh, uh, I'm always going back in and out. Nice. Okay, I got one diamond. I found a diamond in the chest. One of the players took a couple eyes of Vendor and began searching for the stronghold, getting very close to it, but actually going a little bit too far past the stronghold initially. I thought the horse's name was Monica. Yeah, it's Monica. Uh, it was, it yeah. was Monica. Where is Monica? It was also Buttercup. It was also Buttercup. At the same time. <laughs> That is the most American thing I've heard today. Eventually they realized that the Ender Pearls were going back in the opposite direction and they attempted to return to where they had been up on the mountain, but unfortunately they were met with death at the hands of a skeleton. But thanks to the help of Monica the horse, they were able to reach their stuff in time. By that point they knew the rough coordinates of the stronghold and players from all dimensions began converging on the assumed coordinates of the stronghold up in the mountains. I'm it's... almost there. It's still in this direction. It's still in that same direction. Oh, yeah, wait, other way. It's, is it really back on top of this mountain? Does anybody have a water bucket? Does anybody have a water bucket? I don't know. No, I'm gonna make... oh. Found it. Oh. What? You found it? It's uh, zero exactly. It's eggs. Okay, guys, come on down. Right, I'm following up it. You. you found the portal? Hello. Yeah, there's 11 down. eyes missing. The 11? Oh, 11. shit. Did we have enough eyes? I have seven. Okay, back to the nether. I know where a lava pool is. It turned out that they were short by four eyes defender, so they quickly set up another portal and returned to the nether in an attempt to trade with more piglins. Unfortunately, that's where their luck ran out with piglin bartering trades. They traded tons of gold. They went so far as to go to a bastion to try to get ender pearls and gold, but the piglins were just refusing to give ender pearls. I watched them trade so many times, and then it was just like, no, no ender pearls. Mm -hmm. right, boys, 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 if you guys don't get here in the next yeah. I mean, yeah, might as well just throw it. Yeah. Don't like his stem on. I'm killing, I'm killing three of them. That's more than okay. three of them. No. <laughs> oh, the tables have turned. Oh, no, you deserved it. Get back in the prison. No, no, thing. we'll spawn on top of the bed. Oh. We'll, we'll spawn on top of the bed. If we can't do the best, we'll do the worst. We'll get the most deaths. Let's go, boys. This is the strong. I'm trying to, 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 I'm trying to. Whoa, oh, what the? No, we did it. Who? <laughs> I want to have the most amount of death. The middle schoolers were the only group to beat the game during the 2 hour time limit, coming in at 1 hour 37 minutes and 48 seconds. The high schoolers had the fewest number of deaths of just 43, whereas the middle schoolers had 92 and the adults had 94. This means that the middle schoolers are now certified epic gamers. I think it would be cool to do another challenge like this in the future though, especially because the adults didn't have a full team at the very end of their run due to people having to leave partway through, which feels a little unfair. If you want to see more challenges like this, then be sure to subscribe!